Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, we're going through the trunk curl up, which is a part of the McGill Big Three exercises to help you get out of low back pain and get a great set of abs. So in this video, we're gonna help you find the exact level of the trunk curl up, which you should be starting at. Check it out. So the first level for the trunk curl up will have you start with one leg extended and one knee bent. And what we're gonna do is put our hands underneath our low back like this so our middle fingers will touch and we're going to slightly lift our shoulders and our head holding that for 10 seconds we're not going to be lifting our elbows for level one so head is back and relaxed and remember you can look in the other videos to find out the exact rep and sets that I take you through for all of the McGill big three exercises to make sure you know exactly what to do so you can follow along with them once you found out what your appropriate trunk curl up level is here. So for level one, we're keeping the elbows on the ground. <clears throat> we lift up our head and our shoulders very slightly. We're breathing and we would hold that for 10 seconds. I recommend using a timer at first so you can get a, an idea of what that is. So that's about 10 seconds there. And then you just repeat your sets and reps using level one. And how do you know if this is the appropriate level for you? Well, I would try out level one at first because you'll find that this can get quite exhausting once you get up and you do actually five reps for the first set, then three reps for the second set, then just one rep for the last set. It can get very difficult with the neck. So if you found that level one was relatively easy for you and you feel that uh, you can do a little bit more challenging variation, then the next step is that we're going to lift the elbows, lift our shoulder and our head and hold this position for all of our reps and sets. And while it might not sound like a lot lifting our elbows up, when you add the total amount of time that you actually lifted, it is quite intensive. And you may think that you're ready for level two or even level three, but I urge you to try level one first. So level three is the advanced. So level three is going to be a variation where we're lifting everything up. It's the same essential movement as in level two, but we're bracing even before we come up and we're adding this brace, meaning we're trying to tense up the sides or our obliques, our anterior abdominals, our rectus abdominis, and that includes for all of the deeper layers underneath too. And we're bracing, meaning that if I were to just kind of really hit myself, where if I were fully relaxed, I'd um, knock the air out of myself, I can um, be okay with his tension. And that's what we're doing when we're coming on up. So again, level three would look like this. Now there's one more thing to add here, and that's a lot of people will have problems raising their neck up just a little bit. Now, believe it or not, it's actually harder for you to raise up your head a half an inch or uh, a centimeter uh, because the higher you raise it, the less we're going against gravity. So if any of you are having trouble with your neck, this is an exercise that you can do to strengthen it, which will help you gain the ability to do more reps and sets, progressing up into level three with the trunk curl up. So if you had problems working your neck, what we're gonna do is put our back and our head against the wall, and we're gonna press up with our thumbs, pressing up, trying to do that to our head, but we're resisting using our deep neck muscles. And one way we can facilitate that is putting our tongue on the roof or top of our mouth in front of our front top teeth. So I'm really trying to press up and you can do holds just like you would do the reps and sets. So check out my other videos, which go through the exact rep schemes to help you get the best effect out of the McGill big three exercises. But this exercise can really help you with the trunk curl up. If you're having a problem straining your neck or keeping your head low to the ground, you can do rep schemes just like you did with the other exercises where we would hold for 10 seconds, make sure we're breathing.
you relax for three, and you would repeat for the appropriate number of sets and reps. Now, one thing that I find that a lot of people end up doing is they just exert a little bit of pressure and you need to exert a good amount of force where if I were relaxing, I would do that. So you have to challenge yourself with this exercise. And I think if you're doing both, you'll be able to get that head closer and closer to the ground with the trunk curl up. So I hope you found the right level for the trunk curl up. If you have any questions or comments, let me know. Please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.